Something's been bugging me lately, and I thought I'd throw a little something together to sort of get it off my chest. One word has been buzzing in my ear, and that's the word style, 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 style. I find myself asking more and more, what exactly is my style? And to be clear, I mean my photography style, not my fashion sense. I know that that's hot garbage. I feel more and more like I'm playing the comparison game. I look at other photographers on Instagram or Reddit or here on YouTube and I find myself often saying I can tell that that is so-and-so's photograph. And there are various reasons for that. It could be because the subject matter is consistent. The photos are edited with a consistent color palette or they're taken with the same camera lens combo. Whatever the reasons may be, there is something about these photographers' images and I admire the consistency. I think that that is where style really shines in the way that you're able to reproduce your preferred results. And unfortunately, I don't think I have that. Now, this isn't me throwing a pity party. This isn't meant to be a woe is me video, but it's meant to be an acknowledgement of an area in which I feel that I can improve. I was doing some messing around with sequencing photos for a potential book or a zine, you know, just to see what it would look like. And what I found was that it didn't feel very cohesive. It was scattered and it fluctuated too much between too many different styles. It feels more like a photo diary or just a documentation of the passage of time rather than as a body of work. And I won't lie, it was pretty frustrating. It's a collection of about two years of photographs and I can't crack the code to how it should be presented in such a way that it feels cohesive, it feels like my own. There are portraits of family and friends shot in studio and on location. There's photos of buildings, animals, New York City sidewalk bullshit. And all of it is shot with a variety of cameras, lenses, film stocks, both in black and white and in color. And it just got me discouraged, which happens often, but usually it's a funk that I could break out of by overthinking it and making talky videos such as this one. So what is style and how do photographers hone theirs. The answer that you'll get nine times out of 10 is persistence and just take a lot of photos. And it's the sort of non-answer that makes newcomers pretty angry. And I know because I was once a newcomer and it made me angry. While it isn't a perfect answer by any means, I think that it's a good starting place. In our ever increasingly results driven culture, you see more and more people, artists especially, really impatient when it comes to progress. There's a reason Malcolm Gladwell wrote about the 10,000 hours rule. If you don't know about the 10,000 hours rule, it basically says that it takes 10,000 hours of intensive practice to achieve mastery of complex skills and materials like playing the violin or getting as good as a Harlem Globetrotter at dribbling a basketball. The key phrase is intensive practice. This means in the photography world, active shooting as opposed to passive shooting. And maybe I should phrase that better. Active photographing as opposed to passive photographing. You see, it isn't enough to take photos. You have to analyze them after the fact and adjust your technique the next time and, and the, the next time, time and, and the, the next time. time so on and so forth. When you see results you dislike, you stop doing whatever it is that got you that result, and vice versa for things that you do like. Being an artist is being a crucible of trial and error. The next kernel of wisdom you'll probably get from style-rich artists is to consume the work of others and emulate them. Now this is a tricky one because it can be difficult to emulate someone's technique without being a fly on the wall at every step of the process. Also, there is, among many artists, an aversion to imitation. People say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but what they often forget is the second half of that Oscar Wilde quote, which says that mediocrity can pay to greatness. People who agonize about this stuff probably feel, just like me, that it isn't enough to merely emulate 
the titans of yesteryear. True innovation demands a sort of synthesis between tradition and audacity. Let me say that again. True innovation demands a sort of synthesis between tradition and audacity. Last year, I did a photo shoot with my friend Taylor, and in that photo shoot, I did a little imitation game. She had this giant picture frame, and I was like, I want to recreate a version of that classic Erwin Blumensfeld photo of Grace Kelly. And it turned out fine, but I didn't feel great afterwards. Okay, so so far we have take more photos, be active in the process, and gently emulate those who you admire. What's, What's next? next? Well, this is an unfortunate one that I find in a lot of articles and advice pieces, but it's one worth sharing, I suppose. And that is to be declarative about what you think your style is. And generally, that means being declarative about the subject matter that you choose to photograph. This brings me, someone who likes to be a jack of all trades, a great deal of dread. I find often that style is correlated to subject matter. You have street photographers like Trevor Wisecup. You have the urban exploration and landscape road trip photography of Jason Cumberfeld, aka Grainy Days. Or you have the large format portrait work of Brian Burks, or the documentary work of Kyle McDougall with its emphasis on rural environments, quiet spaces, history, and time. The point is, with all of these people, regardless of your personal taste, there is a consistency in the subject matter, in their technique, and the quality of the outcome. Each of these examples seems to have been pretty declarative about their direction and stuck with that direction. And this could be a pretty scary thing, at least to me. I don't really like boxes or inserting myself into them. Hmm. My phrasing has been a little off today. I think that I just prefer to be a free agent. I like engaging in contemplative landscape or architectural photography, but also chasing around bodega cats lounging in a beam of sunlight. I love doing studio, fashion, or portrait work in the vein of Helmut Newton or Horse P. Horst, but I also admire documentary-style portraits akin to Danny Lyon or Diane Arbus. I'm not out here saying that you need to stop liking many things and start liking one thing. But when someone asks you what do you like to shoot, it can be kind of a drag to say, oh, you know, a little of this, a little of that. Even though a little bit of this and a little bit of that can sound way more appealing to the well-rounded photographer, it could be a sign of uncertainty from the perspective of those consuming your work. And as consumers, we prefer certainty for some reason. But who says style needs to be all neat and tidy? Maybe it's the messy beauty of artistic growth, the ever-evolving curiosity, the willingness to explore different avenues, and the refusal to be confined. That's what my style might be, a constant becoming a reflection of my unique perspective. But someone came up to me recently and said, what do you shoot? And I answered them with that answer that I said before. I said, a little of this, a little of that. And I hated it. Maybe photography style is a lot like clothing. They say to dress for the job you want, not the job that you have. Unfortunately, I think that it might be about marketing. At least that's how it appears. The Venn diagram of photographers loving what they shoot and selling what they shoot probably doesn't have a ton of overlap. Or maybe it does, and the ones selling what they shoot and loving what they shoot are not the ones who are shooting a little of this and a little of that. I'm finding myself rambling, so I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead and put the questions to all of you. What would you say is your photography style, and how did you reach that conclusion? Does a photographer need a style? And in your own words, what even is style? With a camera in my hand and a fire in my belly, I'm pushing through. Each photo I could see it is like a piece of the puzzle I didn't know that I was putting together, bringing me closer and closer to uncovering my true style. I could see that it's not always about reaching some lofty destination. It's about enjoying the ride and embracing the evolution along the way. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this has been inspiring or at least thought provoking uh, to say the least. Go ahead and head down to the comments and answer those questions that I was asking before. What is style? What is your style? How did you come to that conclusion? If you like what I do here on this channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released. You can go ahead and find some of my work at my print shop and you can consider buying a print. You can also support this channel and support me 
by becoming a member. You can find that join button, and for a few bucks a month, you can get some perks as well as keep this channel up and running. And with that, with that, and with that, and with that, I want to thank you all for enjoying the ride with me and embracing evolution by my side. I'll I will see you, see you all next time. Next time. Next time.